What's up guys, Miles here with 9to5Mac, and today we're going to be taking a look at Raycast. Raycast was built for those of you who are fed up with chasing browser tabs and tools to get work done. The simplest things can sometimes take way too many clicks, and with Raycast you can control your tools in just a few strokes. The command line inspired interface unifies tools as commands to cut through the noise. Thanks to Raycast for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube, let's check this out. Raycast is firstly known for having an extremely clean and easy to use interface. You simply click option spacebar and you're presented with a floating interface where you can access everything you need to do within the application. Raycast is designed for you to create custom shortcuts and commands to make accessing certain functions on your computer a lot faster. For example, if I want to program a command for defining words, I just have to go into the extensions menu, record my command for it, and then I can easily access the dictionary. This works for any kind of action you'd like to automate with commands. You can also connect Raycast with third-party applications and create custom commands for actions within those applications. An example of that is being able to connect your Google account to Raycast, and from there you can create custom commands for something like creating a new Google document or searching your Google Drive library, which is a really cool feature I get a lot of use out of. Another example of third-party app integration is being able to connect your Zoom account. If you're a college professor or remote team leader who's constantly setting up meetings, you'll surely find this useful. Once your account is connected, you can set commands for scheduling meetings, starting meetings, and looking at what meetings you've got coming up. You've also got the quick link feature. If you wanted to program a command for going to a certain web page, Quick Links allows you to do so. You simply copy and paste the link in the extensions menu, and you can even choose what browser or application you'd like to open the links, which is pretty cool. Floating notes is a cool feature you've got within Raycast as well. For those of you who quickly think of something and want to jot it down, the floating notes window is great for that. After the command has been set, you can enter some notes and then share it to your Apple Notes, send it to someone on iMessage, or copy it to your clipboard. Another neat feature I like to use is clipboard history. You simply have to create a command for it in the extensions menu, and then you can not only view your most recent clipboard history, but the time, date, and application the text was used in, which is really cool. These are just a handful of many awesome features you've got within Raycast, and so I highly recommend you check it out if you're looking for a program that makes creating useful shortcuts very easy. You can download Raycast today in the first link in the description below. And a big thanks again to Raycast for sponsoring 9to5Mac on YouTube. 